This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires a company, parent, or adult guardian. Mission to 15. So, commentary time. You guys ready for this? Yeah, let's go. Mel Gibson yeah, was ready. The, the guy on the commentary track. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who was he? Mel was Mel. He was Mel. Mel himself. Mel does Mel. He, yeah, like I said, was one of the worst commentators I've ever heard. And we're talking up there with Peter Cowie and like the worst. No way, really? Yeah. You'd have to work hard to do that. What did he do? Well, he did the complete opposite of working hard. He didn't work at all. He did absolutely right. nothing. He, I think I estimated like he talks 10 to 20% of the entire commentary track, which means okay. not that his words and his voice are filling up 10 to 20% of the time. I'm talking, he's actively talking for that period of time and close to 90% is just absolute About silence. what? About oh. certain things that just, he doesn't give any insight to, to what he thought. Most, well, he did a couple of times, but oh. most of the time he just, there was one part where they were, they were shooting the arrows in the air and there was a shot of the arrows falling down and he goes, oh, the arrows. Oh yeah, that was hard. <laughs> like that was a hard thing to do. <laughs> He's probably on his phone. We figured it out. With somebody though. else. We figured it out. We're like, yeah. oh fucking god wow. damn it! <laughs> like, it. yeah, that was that was that was, that that was, was one of the most difficult shots ever. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm surprised he wasn't like, hey, how good do I look in this shot, huh? <laughs> no, I think that's why he was mostly quiet because he was just staring at himself, being like, I look fucking good. Just taken away or, by or, his or no. work. It's silent because they edited out the part. Where it was like, dude, how good do I look yeah. up there? Huh? Look at me, huh? <laughs> He's having a conversation in the room. Like, hey, come on, assistant, you tell me how to look good. You know, and they yeah. had to just like cut, hard cut out. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of the rain was real in the movie. They tried to like shoot it between rain while they were filming, but they okay. like figured out they shot a lot. Well, they shot two weeks in Scotland and then they shot the rest of the film in Ireland and it just rains there a lot. So then they had to just mm. incorporate getting wet into the scenes and like covering the camera huh. for every, every shot. You can't see it in a lot of the scenes. It just looks overcast. Apparently like real drizzly rain. You cannot capture on camera. I think we learned that in oh. like, what was that movie? Uh, With the okay. rain. I uh, remember. The one where they were hiding in that hut and they told the same story four times or whatever. And they put black dye. The room. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What was that movie called? <laughs> They're all blending in. They're hiding in a hut. Yeah, they told the same story. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. It was, it was, it was a Kurosawa film. Yes, it's it was Kurosawa. Um, uh, Rashomon. Yes, 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 Rashomon. Yes, yes. There you go. Yeah, yes, 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 I yes, yes, remember yes, yes, yes. the classic. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. <gasps> so yeah, that, yeah, in yeah, that anyway. movie, you know, you had to add a black dye to even rain machines. So like real rain does not register on film yeah, yeah. or anything. So it, you're just wet and drizzly, and that was all just part of the weather in the films. Does I wonder if with, with digital or with like higher frame rates or shutter speeds or something now that maybe that's more than not as much a thing? I don't know. Probably. With more modern technology. Yeah, I mean, you could probably, uh, if you had like a high speed camera at high definition, I'm I mean, sure you could capture it. Yeah. yeah. Digital. Digitally. Digital. Yeah. So that was a pain in the ass for everyone. They were cold the entire time they were yeah. filming this movie. All the oh, fake breath was real, obviously. Why would it be Oof. fake? It's freezing out yeah. there. The scene where people were hanging, those were all real people. They harnessed all those people up and they harnessed them yeah. up for intervals of 30 minutes to shoot over Oof. a few days. Yep. So they'd, huh. they'd hang them up there and they'd film around that, that scene for some reason. Another stupid part of the movie, huh? If there's a yep. barn full of bodies, why are you going to walk into it? You fucking run away. You don't yeah, walk yeah. into the bodies. Yeah, yeah you, you walk in st- and go, he's oh, like, what's going he's, on he's, here? Well, maybe he's, yeah, he's right. wanting to just see all, all of who's dead because he just wants to take Jim, care of he's trying to, Jim. Know, he's trying to tabulate. Yeah. Jim, are you there? in here? Yeah, oh, they're maybe. all dead. Uh, just Johnny? I'll just walk around. Johnny? You no, know, I Jail? mean, like, just knowing all the people, again, you know, something that didn't happen, but whatever. It's, it's just more like, why do you want to think it? Like, okay, why would you think, why would you make this up? Like, what? Because haven't you ever because fantasized about cool. a bunch of bodies hanging from the ceiling and you just got to push your way through? Children? Pretty fucking sweet. children hanging from... Yeah, that's what I fantasize. Because I, I, want, I want us to hate the bad guys so we feel good about all the bloodshed that's going to come next. Hey, Is that something that used stuff, to happen, John? though, back in the day during war? Probably, right? It's yeah. probably an, an age-old... Yeah. Oh, uh, what's got in there? Got a shed hanging. Yeah. Oh shit! One of those. Those are brutal. Uh, yeah, well, that's what we got. Because I Bob. feel like Gladiator did that too. Gladiator yeah. whole scene where he rolls up and he sees uh, his dead wife and son hanging. Yeah. yeah. And there was another scene. It's just maybe just something that was done back in the day. That's that's maybe fucking, I don't know. You know Gladiator usually ranks up there as far as the the historical inaccurate films though. But we'll, we'll get to that one. 
I think TC yeah, likes that hey, one. You know, I love Gladiator. So oh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do something to that one. Oh, I like I like Gladiator. I'm gonna do something. All right. Go back to the last of the Mohicans next. <laughs> the yeah. sheep and the cows and all those types of animals in this movie were actually rented, or I don't know what the right word is, but they hired breeders that owned these breeds that are specifically bred to hold those super old genes in them. So these animals were actually like, or they're you know as close as possible to what the animals were like a thousand years ago, because like oh, since then right. people have like bred out the worst parts oh, of those animals weird. and to be like meatier and stronger and all that shit. But some people, hmm. specific breeders, keep the pure bloodline and then they rent them out to Mel Gibson movies. That's what they do. You want you want an authentic sheep? You got them right here. Come here. Isn't that fucking weird? Wow. I mean, so that, really, like that good, whole like good racket, that, yeah, that whole like you know, yes, I think it's weird. Like, what, I'm not how, even gonna go there. How it's much, weird. What else are you doing with them? Like, how often does a movie come around that's filming people in buy Scotland? Them. They that breed them. These fucking people buy them. Hmm. People buy them anyways. Yeah. Still. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe so, it's a hobby weird. too. It's like a slash hobby. Maybe it's not just that that's their living, but they sort of like get a little both, you know, sort of like they. Yeah, they love the old... fucking with genes of horses. Okay, <laughs> or they like the taste of the particularly old milk. I just think all that's weird because don't those, those horses probably have problems like the uh, purebred dogs do, right? Like their genes are fucked up. They're not supposed to be that way anymore. Yeah, you're supposed to evolve yeah. over time. Oh, right. well, you're not supposed to have but, the well, same. I don't know about that. Like, like, they're, but they're, if they're right? just allowed, oh, well, yeah, if, if they're inbreeding, then yeah, that's they're bad because they're yeah. probably trying well, to. How else would you do it? You right. can't keep the right. genes pure that's unless right. you inbreed. That's right. Letting them fuck normally is one thing. Doing chemical stuff to beef them up is a different thing. And then what these guys are doing are the opposite thing of like, <laughs> trying to keep them, them within their family, keep them, it's disgusting. Yeah. Well, or just trying to keep that genetic strain, so you have to. Yeah. The dogs always have real bad problems. They have joint problems, hip problems, right, right. bone problems, growth problems, everything because they're yep. not. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, like you've been to fucking. I won't say it. Never mind. I had a good one, but it's very bad for some people, so I'm not going <laughs> to say it. <laughs> but uh, you know, you've my been to places with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You've been to places within breeding before. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. It's so, not. uh, yeah, no, that is weird though. That there's like a person out here in LA that's like, Oh, yeah, I've been all, all my money off of Mel Gibson movies with the inbred horses. And you know, <laughs> that's like, sure really like, yeah, like a whole Tons uh, of money. industry, right? Where people probably know other oh, people sure. who are doing the exact same thing and are yeah, competing against sure. them. Yeah, they're the same people that bring in the tigers and all yeah. the exotics you're not supposed to have, right? <laughs> it's, yeah, right. Tiger it's all those guys, yeah, methed out weirdos. Yeah, it's somehow new chemistry in class with biology, you know, I don't get it, doesn't make sense. Those bagpipes are not Scottish bagpipes. They are Irish bagpipes because according to, this is a Mel Gibson decision, Scottish bagpipes are like a squealing <laughs> cat and Irish bagpipes are much more melodic. Okay. So like what, what part of this movie wasn't a Mel Gibson decision? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. He really, he dominated it. Maybe that's why he got best director is because he just dominated the movie. It's like, hey, he's we're like, I'm doing film. it this way. And everyone's like, but that's not accurate. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we're like, doing that's it that way. Right. Like they they, they yeah. stopped talking right away. I mean, that, that, but Mel, <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, nothing, but Mel. 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 Damn Mel. it. You're fuck. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where's the kilts? They didn't wear kilts. Yeah. I want kilts. He's, right. got, he's already got kilts <laughs> on him. I don't know when he has the time to do this. He's fucking already moving ahead <laughs> with these decisions. Yeah. Yeah, right. The asshole. Yep, 100%. Uh, the castles were all real castles, but since most castles that exist nowadays are in ruins, the, uh, the set decorator had set extensions built for them. So like all yeah. the exterior shots yeah. of castles were, you know, half real and then half set extensions in real yeah. locations of old castles. Cool. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Mel doesn't have people read for his roles. Right. He, he looks at them. He's, he dresses he them in a things. kilt and he makes them flip the kilt up. And then he's like, you're hired. That's what he does. <laughs> No, that's not what <laughs> Show me your bottom. Casting what? couch. Wait a minute. I don't think I'm he in the right place. He started on Pornhub on casting couch, and he made it all the way to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Flip up the no, kilt, would you? Okay, you're in. So weirdly enough, he does a similar <laughs> thing to Ryan Johnson. He just he he doesn't necessarily invite them to coffee, but he has a 10 to 50 minute long conversation with them. That's it. Okay. Well, at least he talks to him. Yeah. I cool. think it's a pretty, like, he says, and this, this is one of the few things that he made sense. If you go into a, uh, a screen test and you read, the only thing I learned from it is if you can read. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, ah. that's not bad. Wow. Yeah. It's also, you know, not true. But sure. No, it's not. 
Because people aren't just reading straight from a piece of paper, right? They have time to prepare for the role no, and shit. The read is them like doing the thing. The read right. isn't about the fuck. I mean, like, although I guess not. If it's a table read, that's different, I guess, because like you're not really acting. You're just reading in a in a style that you think is right. But is I got it. Who cares? We're not, we're, we're diving way Who too far. Cares? This <laughs> does not matter. Yeah, it does uh, not matter. They filmed in Scotland in the summer, and the sun doesn't set until after 11 o'clock in Scotland in the summer. So their days were long. They'd shoot Ooh. until the sun oh, went down. Oh, wow. So, Damn. Yeah. So they had plenty of time for him to fucking do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. And everyone had to sit there and wait. Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, At least yeah. you're in a nice place. I guess, it was, I mean, it was cold and wet all the time. So it's well, not it's that cold nice. and rainy. Yeah, so and not again, great. Look, look, I mean, say what you want. I mean, the film did really well. He won Best Picture. I mean, damn, you know, this is successful. Says the person who was the most negative person on the movie. Yeah, but you know, but it's still the truth. Yeah, he, he did. got his job done. Yeah, yeah, right. It's true for the dismemberments and shit. They hired amputees, and they just put like fake legs and stuff on them, and then oh. they would just like hit them off. With so the they sword. would let them. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, the, the shot of Mel cutting the throat of the British officer who kills his wife. Right, is yeah. censored in England. Okay. Hmm. Pretty weird, isn't it? Hmm. That is weird. Hmm. I mean, out of all the other blood and gore, but just this sort of like methodical throat slitting of an official. It, yeah, it's like well, don't no, show a depiction of like a British officer being weak, I guess. But I mean, oh. they get slaughtered like throughout the movie. I don't really understand. They, it. they certainly, they, I guess, I guess they have no problem with them appearing to be evil as fuck. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. Like, True. As, as, like in a lot of films that we see, I mean, some of that may be historically accurate, not this one, but, um, yeah. but certainly, I mean, they didn't necessarily, they certainly, you know, it wasn't happy times in terms of the way the Scottish were treated during the wars, but yeah. Yeah. So. Um, all the sets they built, they burned. They didn't use all the footage of the sets burning, but they knew they were going to need some sets burning. So they just burned oh, all of them when they were done. Just burned and them all and filmed it. Yep. Uh, just a thing that they did. And just pick up after you leave and get some footage out of it. Exactly. Bunch of Fucking carbon. Right. Uh, there was one line. For some reason, this uh, made me think of Kubrick. He said, cool sets. He was talking about the movie. He's watching his own movie. This is, this is Mel Gibson talking about the movie that he made. He says, cool sets. <laughs> Looks like ancient Greece or something. <laughs> what? That just reminds me of Stanley Kubrick. You know, he really got involved in every aspect of the movie. He knew what he was doing. He didn't sit in the sidelines. No, he knew he was going to make yeah. a masterpiece. Yeah. Cool sense. <laughs> it's like, uh, looks like I uh, ate grace or something here. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds, yeah. sounds like somebody, something hey, that anybody weird. could we're have making said. A movie ab- we're making a movie about Scotland and Ireland. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think I want the thing that looks like Greece. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah Mel. That's, mm-hmm. well, what about our other options? No, I want the thing that looks like Greece. <laughs> Look at me on camera. Look at me on camera. These really sort of seemingly intelligent like things that, that when you think about them long enough, you start to realize this guy might really be a big asshole. Well, both yeah, things are true. Well, all of them. Yeah, I, I think all of them. Are it, like it, Mel, Mel might just get me. Maybe you get more of a direct sense of that. I don't know. No, but I mean, <laughs> that, <laughs> it's just like right that doesn't even <laughs> yeah. come across there. Yeah. But it's like yeah. he's yeah. the guy who made this movie, and I'm watching a thing trying to learn something about it. And literally right, right. anybody, buddy on the planet, could be asked the question, "What do you think of this?" And they'd be like. Cool sets. Looks like ancient Greece Guys, or something. I got, I got news yeah. for you. Every single person that works in the industry, including myself, is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them, dude. Okay. All of them. No Every way. last one of Disagree. them. Disagree. Yep. Aww. 100%. Kubrick, 100%. not. Ridley Scott, not. Definitely full of shit. Nope. They are so far up their own ass. Paul Thomas and Anderson. A lot of them. I can name a bunch of people, a lot of people that are. A lot of people get lucky, and they just mm. good. They just happen to be good. Doesn't they, it doesn't mean that their mentality is any different than the guy next to him, who just happens to be fucking shit. Guillermo del Toro. He's still in the same. He's still in the same world <laughs> in their heads. Guillermo del Toro. Fucking full of shit. Yeah. yeah. They, I'm, the point is, Denny, is that the attitude is the same between the people that suck. And the people that are good. No, that's what I'm saying. Some it's people not. Do, uh, get I to be know, good. Man. I, I would <laughs> I I decide with Danny on this. They're not. It's not all bad. And even then, it's just it's I, as we talked before. I'm not saying know. they're all bad. I'm just saying that people are so far up their own ass. Some people really do well like, without with that. exception. It's, I think that 90 yes, percent of the cases absolutely. is true, but there are exceptions. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Easily don't know. provable sure. exceptions. There are there are exceptions, but I'm telling you, most are not. Yeah, I, I agree the there. Same. They're all agree ego. Most. They're full of ego. They're full of crap. They're full of shit. They sometimes just make a decision, get lucky. 
Yeah, and the most fact of the time, that there they, are they all suck. these new shows on Netflix and movies every week that I wouldn't even watch two seconds of the trailer. Like, who's making all this stuff? Oh, it's, it's, there's a million different fucking people, yeah. and they all think they're important. And they're all going to get on in a commentary one time and go, ah, it looks like fucking ancient Greece. That's fucking good. <laughs> and they're going to be made, they made some shit fucking art house film uh, that got lucky. I mean, honestly, it's obviously it's not everybody. Yeah, that's all I'm That's I all I want to say. Yeah. I just, I, I, I meant a good percentage of people in this industry are full of shit. 100% agree with that. And yeah, ha, they ha, some of them get lucky. Some of them don't. Most of them don't. Yeah. There's, there's the, if, if I said big battle, would you guys know which battle I was talking about? Is that the, the full, yeah. there's a couple. There's yeah. like the full there's Kirk two, and then right? there's the there's bridge that didn't battles. have a bridge. The bridge that didn't have the bridge is quote unquote the big battle. Is that the okay, big battle? That's the oh, one. Okay. That's the first okay. one. I thought the second one where he gets kind of almost killed at the end. That was mm-hmm. a pretty big one too, but yeah. apparently that wasn't nearly as hard to do as the, uh, the first one. The first one was uh-huh. six weeks of shooting with nine cameras. They had 2,000 extras. All the extras would dress up on either side. So whenever like you'd cut to the Scottish side and all those extras were there, the same extras were the ones that were dressed up like the English people on the other side. So they'd have like alternating uh, okay. days between who was dressed up as who. That's uh, being smart. Yeah. Efficient. And they filmed it like in real location. It was next to a racetrack. So there was a lot of parking. So all the extras just parked in the racetrack and they just walked to set because it was like within a mile of this racetrack. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Mel, I have a great idea. What's that, Mel? Well, Mel, I was thinking, let's put him next to the racetrack. <laughs> Mel, I think that's a fantastic idea, Mel. Hey, by the way, Mel, what's up, Mel? You look fucking great on camera on this. Oh, Mel, thank you. I really appreciate that, Mel. Hey, how about that shot, though? It looks like Greece, huh? Hey, Mel, that's what I was saying. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what I imagine he does all day. So, yeah, and I also I had to shut the commentary track off. And oh, finish it. oh did it. you? Oh, that's the best fucking factoid of the it whole was, commentary. It was when he said, uh, the quote was, That's great. He said, uh, arrows were tricky, but we figured it out. <laughs> yeah. anyway, I'm done. Hey, Mel. I'm done, Mel. How are the arrows? I'm an hour and well, a half Mel. into this commentary track. They were tricky. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mel, what's up, Mel? What are you doing, Jesus, too? <laughs> oh, well, you know, Mel, that's a sore subject for me. <laughs> but uh, those archers, man, those, those were tricky. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck man. me, man. Jesus 2 colon escape from the rock cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with that, folks, <laughs> would you put this in the top 250? No. No. Uh, no. Yeah, all right. Uh, Sorry. No. Super fan. No worries. <laughs> Fucking uh, break go get, part go, in the top go, 100. Go give Hamilton another chance, Denny. Maybe you got to be in the right yeah. mindset. Dude, maybe I just hate movies now. That's what I'm, I'm worrying about. It. Yeah, I don't know. I, oh, well, Nikki hey. And I, Nikki welcome and I were talking aboard, about Denny. That. If you weren't like, welcome if you didn't aboard. like have like a nice, relaxing sit down time with that one, it moves so, it moves so fast, it's hard to, you sort of can get lost pretty quickly. So, I don't know. Give yeah. it another chance. Wow. Did you guys watch that video when he was like, when he like debuted that the first song at the White House? Yeah, I watched that before we did the no. podcast episode. No, oh, okay. I did not. Oh, should I? Watch, it's so cool. It's I, weird. I really, he looks totally different. Okay. Well, yeah, well, he was totally nervous. Really? And he, he was like, everybody laughed at him when he said what he was going to do. Um, no. And, and it, it, no, laughing. how good it was yeah. going to be. <laughs> yeah. It was really, it's really a cool example of a of The song like was him. like fully formed by 2009, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's really cool. Watch it. I t- I uh, texted it to you, TC. Check it out. It's all right. It was all right cool. I will definitely look at that. Absolutely. I don't know. It's there's so much like brilliance and passion in that. It's just amazing. So, but yeah. So anyway. we ha- we have some options here next week, guys. Since this yep, was yep, a, yep. this is this is what on the list. Oh, okay. So okay, we're still stuck inside as we will yes. be forever. So right, um, right, 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 right. The next list movie is Reservoir Dogs, but I kind of want to do a bonus episode. Okay. Okay. I what's have, that? What's three options bonus? here. And I'm going to let you guys decide because I'm willing and happy to watch any of these three movies. Two of them are could go under. They're all three on the list. They're all three on, now on the top 250. Two of them are could be classified as best, best picture losers. Best picture losers. Okay. okay. It's, a, it's kind of a pet category of yours. I mean, it's trying yeah, to like spin losers. off. You know, I'm trying to get create categories so when we reach freaking number one here, we can keep going without. And uh, sort so, of force, uh, don't worry. I we'll, we'll figure out ways. Don't yeah, worry. This is one of the ways. Uh, yes. work, play it in yeah, the season. I'm saying it's John. not a very good this way. This way's John. <laughs> Let it finish. Best picture losers. You know, it's a good category. I think it's pretty uh, good. It's decent. Hey, anyway. Mel, what'd you come up right. with? Well, right. Mel, what I came up with this thing called Best Picture Losers. What do you think about that, Mel? All right. Eat your words, John. Either three billboards outside Missouri. 
Oh. Ebbing, Missouri. Okay. Three billboards yes. outside Ebbing, Missouri. I do want to watch that one. Or Ford uh, v. Ferrari. Mm, I want to watch that one uh, less. Let's do the so first one. Yes, yeah, so do I. And then there's also the this one, one. that's, it's just called Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Oh, that one's a French film. That, that could one's be good. way yes. up there. That, that one for, I'd like to watch that one sooner or later. It's got really good cinematography of nothing else, just in terms that's of That's the one I, I want to watch the, the most, Yeah, personally. Hmm. What do you think? Okay, let's, let's French do that one. I don't know how you want to do that one. I want uh, to do both, French? Both, yeah, I think it's in French. So I've already <laughs> seen, so this might be better because <laughs> you guys haven't seen three billboards, right? I, and I have, nope. so no. that might be stupid yeah, for me to go first on that one because I'm going first next week, so. Oh, that's okay. So three Portrait of Lady on Fire, I have not seen. Bullshit. And also it's free on Hulu. Well, let's do it. We're doing it? Elderly yeah. woman behind the counter in a small town. That's the three billboards outside Ebbing. That that yeah. sounds like three billboards outside oh. Ebbing, Missouri. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, like the does. longest fucking title you could ever fucking have. Well, it's just very strange. Just a very what? Bill? That's probably Damn the first Rockwell, time. Well, Woody yeah. Harrelson. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of that one. Dude, it's but really good. One now? Really good. Well, I want to watch it. I, I like that what the director's done. So I'd really like to watch it. So I'm happy to do both. Let's, we're going to do, do both. both. Oh, we both. said both. Not the guys. Row, we're doing it too early. But okay. Okay. Very good to clarify that. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, what are we doing then? What's the plan? I don't really plan? care about Ford versus with? Ferrari, but even though it, it, I guess yeah, it was either. reviewed well, but. I thought we did that one already. What did we watch? No, Ford versus something we else? Watched, McLaren? Uh, Rush. Rush, which I liked. So maybe this is oh, like no, that. Ford versus Ferrari is the one with fucking Matt Damon. What's his name? Oh, yeah. I've seen that one already. Christian Bale. Yeah. I watched that. Yeah, I watched that one. I watched that one. I, you know. That's I not good. Watch that one. It's not bad. <laughs> That's I not... like those two though. So like it's. I mean, I. Yeah, I mean, I, I just watched it because I, I think it had just come out when I was looking for a new movie to watch, and you know, I you know yeah. fucking watched it and was like, eh, yeah, yeah, good pass the time. Pass the time. Because I like both of them, but I don't know if uh, we need to talk about it so much. But it is ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes, so yep. ninety two. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I should watch it again. I don't know. What do you What do you guys think? What do you guys? I think don't know. I I'm split. I'm all I'm all happy to watch either of them. So, so Denny, bup, bup, I'd like bup, to watch, bup, bup, I, I even wouldn't mind the Ford versus Ferrari one, but um, what, uh, you're welcome to choose. I mean, it's kind of hard for you because you've already seen the three billboards, right? So you'd right, rather see Portrait. Yeah, kind of. Um, well, you know, three billboards and the other one are fucking the same amount of time, basically. Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. And what's the fucking, mis- what's the French one? What's that? Sorry, Portrait I have to look up the French Portrait, Portrait of, of a Lady, lady on, on fire. fire. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Oh, boy. I mean, it's got a good fucking title. All right, France, 1770. All right, I'm out. So what do you think? We'll do, um, <laughs> we'll do uh, either one of those two is good Dude, it's me. got I'm a 98% on thing. Rotten Tomatoes, man. 98%. Yeah, what does that mean? 91 is the fucking thing I just said was a good way to pass the time. So you get 7% extra. Yeah. Who cares? Maybe it's so agreeable that it is a good way to pass the time and everyone thought uh, that was true. Is it in French, though? Yeah, it is. I think so. It's going to be subtitled, Ugh. I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Yeah, and that's like it's know, a rocks, two, paper, two, scissors, three, three right off. now. On an isolated island in Brittany at the end of the 18th century, a female painter is obliged to paint a wedding portrait of a young woman. Dude, look at the fucking trailer, though. Yeah, you should. The trailer. I mean, I just might the, like this more than I uh, am willing to admit. Like, I'm gonna watch okay. the trailer right now because it looks fucking amazing. All right, fine. Fuck it. We'll watch the French one. Let's go. We're doing it live. Right. We're doing it. So it's, it's streamable, so that's good. We'll do yeah, the, it's on Hulu we'll do the for free. One, whatever. Yeah. I need to expand my horizon, stop being such a bigot and a fucking sexist and, you know, all those things. Right. Cool. <laughs> yep. Cool. That's what I was going to say. I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm self-aware, you know. Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. What are you doing? How you doing, Mel? Hey, I'm Mel. I'm good. It's okay. Uh, you know, I like women. Oh, Mel, do you? Are you sure you do? Yeah, 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 Mel. I, I, I like them. I, I swear. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be talking to myself as Mel now for the rest of the night. That's good. Where's Timmy? I don't know. Mel took over. We don't know. We lost Timmy. Timmy's Mel's not invited on the podcast. Mel, you have to leave. <laughs> Mel, please yeah. leave. Mel, uh, hey, but hey, those archers, they were uh, they were tricky. Yeah, they were pretty nice. We figured it out, though. All right, all right, anyways. Uh, I'll get back so to I'm going to split this one up into two, I think, too. But uh, anyway, yeah, oh, thank yeah. you thank you for listening. Our website is the thing that where our things are, you know, shown, whatever, website. I don't know. What do we do, John? Stop. Spotify? Yeah, How do you advertise website. on Spotify? What? I don't know. You just put it on there and you hope for the best. We're on Spotify. Yeah. Uh, click the click the next episode too, huh? How about that? You just listen to the next one if you like <laughs> hey, this one. Hey, watch some yeah. movies. Listen to some bullshit. It's all a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> all right. And next next uh, <laughs> and next week we'll be on cameras. Figure it That's out. Right. Denny. That's right. That's oh, right. Are we, Kenny? 
I got, oh, yeah, we're doing this. This oh, is going to be fuck. funny. We All should right. start posting gotta, these, too. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> I got to buy a, uh, a I got, camera. I, I got one on the way. Mine's well, coming I, Saturday, I baby. I'll be all set up. A MacBook, Denny. You don't have a camera. No, I just this assume. is a Mac Pro, and I have it hooked up to my work screen, which is an Alienware, oh, which has no oh, built-in okay. camera. Ah, uh, yeah, you, get, get the extra one. It'll be worth it anyways. It'll be good for your video conferences at work. That's where I figured mine is, will be for, yeah, too. I'll just start using true. that one. I'm, I work yeah. off my laptop, and all I see is the side of my face from pretty low on my laptop. It's like Dude, me too, away. because I stare at the screen while we've got yep. the shared stuff going on. Yep. I'm like an this idiot. This could be good. Right? Like, I, I need we're going to live yeah, now this could from be, home. It's, so. And I'm going to I'm gonna need it, too. So I'll have it. So at least when I'm looking at my screen doing fucking tutorials, I'll be looking at the people, Yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting so, one too. Fuck it. It's a good thing. All right, so let's, cool. let's cool. not It'll do be fun. It'll be fun time. to see let's you guys every, every week time. Too. But let's mix it up ah, every once in a while. I think we're going to see how it goes on the first we'll one. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be let's fun. Just, just see how it goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll yeah. do it next week yeah. and right. see where it goes. All right. So are okay. we doing Thursday again or what? Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Shoot for Thursday. I'm good for Thursday. Yeah. All right. We're going to end this one. I guess I'm still recording. My bad. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, Did we actually end this episode? Right. Did, we, did, did Timmy know. give us his impression of Braveheart? Because I'm here. Mel won't let me live anymore. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm scared. Help me. <laughs> Mel, he won't leave me alone. I don't want to talk about Jesus anymore, Mel. Leave me alone, Mel. I don't, oh, my God. Jenny, help. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. I can't help. It's too yeah, funny. T- Timmy, you, you decided to sign the contract with Mel. You got to stick with it, man. It's your timeshare. Come on. There's no way uh, Timmy is a... Uh, uh, Timmy is a... Uh, is, uh, it's tricky. <laughs> Fuck you, Mel. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. It hurt. It hurt, Mel. It hurts. It still hurts. Help me, Denny. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to let no. you rot. I'm going to let you get whipped yeah. by Mel. Whip him again. It wasn't good enough. Whip him again. I don't want to fucking see Jesus too anymore. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> see well, you guys I, later. So, all right. There you guys. All right. See you guys. Stop.